So for today, we're going to be looking at the unyielding favor armor pieces for the hunter. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the armor itself as a review and that video is already up. You guys can see it right here. And then we make a video trying to use pieces of each of the armor specifically like for this video. The only piece that I didn't use was the arms. I think the arms is probably the worst piece from the whole set, but everything else is super dope and I did use it in a set. So, which is really weird considering the hunter usually uses all five of the sets for me for the pieces, at least for me but the arms was just terrible i cannot use them in any way that made them look good i will definitely try to use them more in the future just to see if i can find something but i'm gonna be real with you guys man some of these sets are super fucking cool so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it the channel has been doing so fucking well and it's all because of you guys and i appreciate y'all i mean it does help that i've been posting literally every day like two videos but it wouldn't help i it, that wouldn't mean anything if you guys weren't watching my videos so i really do appreciate it and let's just get into it so for the first one we're gonna be using the helmet this one i'm gonna be real with you guys uh i think the main points that i really really love about this set is gonna be the chest piece and the boots i think the thunderhead strides look so good with verita's vest and you definitely will see me use this for the thunderhead video specifically the individual pieces because I do think this looks amazing, but I will switch out a few pieces. Definitely the helmet's going to be left out because I don't think the helmet looks good as this as a whole. But I still wanted to showcase this just because uh, it's important to show you guys like not only my successes, but also kind of my failures, because I do think this is somewhat of a failure uh, specifically because I don't like how the helmet looks with this whole set. I just don't think it fits because the helmet, I think, looks a little bit more fantastical. And the chest piece and the boots definitely look a lot more tactical, at least a different tactical that I'm used to. So I would definitely switch out the Aeons as well, the exotic specifically. The arms, I just don't think look good in the set. And I think the best pieces will be the chest piece and the boots and maybe the cloak. I think the cloak is super cool, especially when you see it from the side. But my biggest issue, and I did mention this in the uh, new Eververse video, which I'll have it up right now. I did mention that I just did not like the leather straps on next to like the cloak. I just don't like that. I just think it looks stupid, like specifically for this set. I just look, think it looks weird. So I probably would switch out the cloak, but even then I probably wouldn't because it just, it looks cool from the side. So uh, for the shader, Dreaming Cast was the easy choice specifically because I was going for blue because the, the Aeon specifically, uh, the color that everyone uses uh, is blue. And I was going to go for another color, but I'm like, fuck, like no one uses the red one or the green one. It's always just the blue blue one because the blue one's the most useful. So I don't want to be like, oh, here's the look, even though you're never going to use the red one. So that's why I decided to go with blue instead. So I really do like this set. Like, don't get me wrong. I do think like just it, lo it looks cool. It's just I do think it has potential to be even better if I switch out a few pieces. So again that's pretty much my thoughts on the helmet i love the helmet uh again if you guys want to see me review it i specifically talk about the helmet in the review video i'll have it up right now i absolutely hate that there's a star on the right side i hate that shit but i mean what are you gonna do as for the chest piece this is where it gets interesting because i decided to really lean, lean into that like awoken theme and the pathfinder's helm was an easy choice considering this was from a season like what was it season of the lost which is heavy heavy awoken theme so that was an easy choice the chest obviously unyielding favor for the boots the abyss walker strides was an easy choice because i wanted purple for this for, for sure i wanted purple but because it just feels awoken to me so that's why i used it and then solstice cloak rekindled because i think like the best like awoken themed stuff have like really big ass cloaks like draped cloaks so that's why i'm using that one because it's the biggest cloak i have at least i think it's the biggest one and then for the exotic we're using oath keepers i just think dude you lit this is this is an awoken theme to like it's you can't even tell me anything like you literally have awoken bitches on your on your arms bro so i i love this set i think this set looks super super cool i know some people are going to give me shit for using amethyst veil um, I mostly did that because of the purple shader that it gives off. I think that's such a good purple to combine it with Abyss, Abyss Walker strides. And then Abyssidian Gold for the cloak because Amethyst Veil, specifically for cloaks, gives off this like almost uh, not dirty, but like discolored look. It's really weird. 
So that's why I switched out Abyssinian Gold because Abyssinian Gold gives you a really rich black. So this is probably my favorite, I want to say, but it's also not my favorite because I think the cloak is my favorite. We'll look at that in a bit because we're going to look at the boots right now, which the boots are definitely not my favorite. The boots, I think, are fucking weird. Um, this set, I don't know. I don't know where it came from me. Like I, I looked at this when I was like editing this video and I was like, why the fuck did I use these pieces there? It's weird, but I guess my thought process was just uh leather because the boots don't have any armor like at all. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just lean into the leather, I guess, which is why we're using Pathfinder's grips, the outlander's heart. And then for the cloak, Lux cloak was a choice I made. I don't know if it was an easy one. I don't even remember making this choice. I'm going to be real. I don't remember making this armor set at all, but I can see why I use the pieces that I did. I think uh, the outlander's heart is a pretty good piece for this just because a lot of the straps in the chest piece and in the abdominal spot look, they pair really well with the boots, the arms, uh, because they're leather. I think that's the main focus It's just because, uh, <clears throat> it's like a cloth, which with the whispered sheen, gives off the leather texture look, which is why I used all of these pieces. And then uh, for some reason I was using, what exotic is this called? And as for the exotic, I ended up using Blight Ranger. This one is a weird choice considering Blight Ranger is a hot bot pile of dog shit, but I do think it looks cool as the overall set. I definitely would not use this set specifically because Blight Ranger is not good. And even if I was using an exotic meta that was meta, I probably wouldn't use those boots. So this was more of a just I wanted another piece in there and I wanted to just like kind of go out of my comfort zone because uh, yeah, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Some people might like this. Some people might not, which is completely fine. I definitely like it. I probably would just switch out the shader. I think the shader is like the, my biggest issue, but I wanted to keep like a leather look to it, which is why I wanted Whisper Sheen. So I don't know. This one's this one. I don't know, man. This one makes me feel kind of complicated. Like I like it, but at the same time, I don't uh, let me know what you guys think. And then last but not least, we have my actual favorite with this one is it goes hard. So this one, I ended up using the oh so many pieces that I ended up using. This one's obviously using the cloak for the set. Not only am I using the new raid arms, which is super fucking weird, but I'm also using Resonant Fury, which is also from a raid. Super fucking weird as well. And then Catch Killer Strides like all of this. I don't know how I made I came up with this set. I'm going to be real with you, honest with you guys. I do know that I was uh, in Crips. It was it. Yeah, I was in Crips Discord, like just going through some stuff because I really like to go through people's fashion just because it, it really helps me motivate myself to like think outside the box. And someone ended up combining Blight Ranger with Resonant Fury and the new cloak. And I was like, fuck, that look goes hard. And I was this close to using Blight Ranger. But I was like, I don't want to copy that person so much that I make the, the same set. So I ended up just using the Resonant Fury with the cloak with the cloak and then the Cathartic uh, filigree for uh, Celestial Nighthawk just kind of came into mind. And then literally everything else just kind of like fell into place because uh, the Resonant Fury has like these black sides, almost like a jacket thing. And I immediately thought, oh, it would be fucking cool with grips of the tri trepidation because uh, grips of trepidation specifically if you pair it with cryptic insignia it turns it all black so i was like i can make it seem like my hunter is wearing like an all white getup, but then the chest piece has like that that small bit of black right there in the chest so i can make it look like he's wearing like a black uh a black jacket which i think i hit i think i hit the nail on it the only issue i have with it is the fact that the resonant fury chest piece specifically the black spots are not as black as the cryptic insignia for the uh, grips of the tre trepidation but i think that's such a minimal thing because like when you look at it overall it looks so fucking cool and this is kind of like um kind of like what the people were doing when they were doing their taken looks where it was like white from the bottom and black from the top instead of that though i'm using actual like armor clothing to like distinguish the colors which i think look cool as fuck so for the shaders oiled gunmetal for the helmet is going to be an easy choice because i want to get give off that black look and i could not find any other shader that just made it super black so i just decided fuck it oiled gunmetal is the best i have right now which is fine um cryptic insignia i already explained why i'm using that shader for the arms turns it all black especially all of the armor from the raid it turns everything all black so if you're looking for that it is really really cool and once i get all of the armor we will uh, review the armor 
for the Resident Fury and for the Catch Killer Strides, the Gift of the Nine was an easy choice because that was the first choice that I made. I ended up going with Gift of the Nine first for everything. And then from there, I started to take pieces out like Cryptic Insignia and Oiled Gun, oiled gun Metal. And for the Cloak, I took... I. I used Time Honored because it gives it was the best shader that gave me a black, but also had a good glow on the back as well. So this is probably like my crowning achievement right now, just because it looks super, super cool. I did get uh, inspiration from someone from Crips uh, Discord. Uh, I'll have the picture of the Blight Ranger look right now. And obviously the person who did it, I think it looks super fucking cool. Uh, I just wanted to put my own twist on that look which is this one right here and i think it looks super cool so let me know what you guys think i really really love this look it's definitely one of my favorites now um so much so that i actually was thinking about just taking all of those pieces and making a celestial nighthawk build unfortunately celestial is just not like needed in this uh sandbox so i probably won't make that build but i will keep this look in the back of my pocket just in case because it does look really really cool i I don't know, man. This is just not something I would look, make. Like, that's the thing is when I look at this set, I'm like, this is usually not something I would make, but it looks cool. It looks fucking fire. So Titans Warlocks, don't worry. You guys will get your videos soon. I'm working on it right now. And Hunters, let me know what you guys think. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.